Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cyber Hashira. Today I'm going to talk about message authentication code or MAC. The two types of MAC I'm going to cover in this video are HMAC and CMAC. Both are used to verify integrity of some data and its authenticity. So let's have a look and see how it works. In one of my previous video, I showed you how hashing algorithm can be used for uh, integrity check. However, hashing does not provide authenticity. It is possible that someone could alter your data and uh, simply rehash it and you would never know. To prevent this from happening, we can use Mac instead of using a hashing algorithm. Let me show you what I mean with a simple demo. So over here on this computer, I have a file called message.txt, which uh, obviously contains a message from Jack to Jill. It is about a fundraiser for an orphanage and Jack has given his uh, PayPal address where he wants Jill to donate some money. That's what it is. There's also a message.sha256. This is the uh, SHA-256 thumbprint or uh, the SHA-256 hash of message.txt. So when sending this message, uh, Jack would send the, uh, the SHA-256 hash along with this message. Now imagine that Jack is sending this message to Jill using an insecure communication channel and someone, for example, a hacker, in, uh, intercepted this message before it could reach Jill. And now that hacker can easily make changes to message and simply rehash it. For example, let's just imagine that uh, I am that hacker and I intercepted this message. So I could simply go into message.txt and uh, I can make changes to it. For example, uh, we have this PayPal address over here. So I'll create another PayPal address which looks similar to Jack's uh, PayPal address and uh, I don't know, I'll just add 666. Let's just say that this is that new PayPal address. So I have uh, made some changes to the message. I can also rehash this message. So SHA-256 message.txt. And once this altered message and hash reaches Jill, there is no way for her to check if this message is authentic or not. All she could do is uh, verify the integrity of the message, which obviously is going to be good because uh, after making changes to the message.txt file, uh, the hacker made sure to rehash that message. So message.sha256 has an updated hash. To prevent this from happening, Jack and Jill could use a technique called Mac. They could append their message with a secret and that secret should be something that only they know and then they can hash that message. So for example, I'll clear the screen. I'm going to generate a random, uh, I'll, I'll generate a key, a randomly generated key. So I'll run the command open SSL ran dash hex. Um, I'm so distracted. Okay, out key 16. So I am generating 16 bytes of randomly generated data in hex format. So if I run the command cat key so this is that randomly generated key now when i want to or now when jack wants to uh, generate the sha-256 thumbprint they could simply run this command so uh, they will do echo dash n so there's no new line at message.txt and cat key and open ssl sha-256 that dot dash out message dot sha256 hit enter and now if i run the command cat message sha256 this is a new hash and if i run the command open ssl sha256 message dot txt you can clearly see the hash does not match and the hash isn't matching because uh, this hash was generated by appending a secret key to the message. So here's a secret key, cat.key. So a secret key was appended to the message while generating this hash. And because uh, the hacker does not have this key, 
it wouldn't be possible for them to forge the message without uh, Jill finding out about it. And now I will show you how to use HMAC and CMAC using OpenSSL. HMAC and CMAC are two different types of Mac. I'll start with HMAC. HMAC stands for Hash Based Message Authentication Code. Um, it is also known as Key Hashed Based Mac. To generate HMAC using OpenSSL, I need a key. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll generate a key using OpenSSL RAN dash out key and 16, which is the size of uh, the key that I'm generating. So that's a 16 bytes key. It's in binary format. So I would do XXT, which is a, a Linux utility. So this is that key in hex format. I also have a text file which I would like to hash. So this is a text file cat earth.txt. This is a text file that I will be hashing using HMAC. And a simple way to do it is by using OpenSSL SHA-1. I'll be using SHA-1 algorithm first. So HMAC, I'm simply going to paste the key here in hex format dash out earth dot um i'll just name it sha1 hmac earth dot txt and that's it if i want to generate a sha256 hmac i can just change this with sha256 and i will also change the extension of this file i'll make it sha256 hmac and that's it Let's me, let me show you what SHA-1 HMAC looks like. This is SHA-1 HMAC for earth.txt. Similarly, this is SHA-256 HMAC for earth.txt. There's another way to generate these uh, HMAC values. So I could, re I could use uh, OpenSSL DGST command. So I can run the command OpenSSL DGST SHA-1. SHA-1 is the hashing algorithm that I want to use. Dash HMAC, um, hold on. I need that key. All right, let me repeat it. So OpenSSL DGST dash SHA-1. I'll be using SHA-1 algorithm. HMAC is going to be this key earth.txt and this is the sha1 hmac of earth.txt and i'm using openssl dgst command similarly if i need to use a sha256 hash i can simply change it change this to sha256 and i get the sha256 hmac of earth.txt and obviously, if required, I can output this. So I can do dash out earth sha256. I can output this hash into earth uh, or any file that you want. So you can use dash out option to output the, the generated hash to a file. And another alternate way to generate HMAC is using OpenSSL DGST's uh, dash MAC command. So I can run the command OpenSSL DGST dash MAC. Now this option dash MAC is not just limited to HMAC. I mean, I can pass CMAC or whatever I want. A anything that is supported by OpenSSL DGST can be passed over here. I will be using HMAC. And I want to uh, first try generate a SHA-1 hash. And then I need to pass some MAC options. So what I need for this MAC is a hex key. And I will use my handy xtd command to get the, uh, the key in hex format. And earth.txt, which is the file that I want to hash. I'll hit enter. And this is the SHA-1 hash of uh, earth.txt. Not the SHA-1 hash, but the SHA-1 HMAC hash of uh, earth.txt. Similarly, if I need to get a SHA-256 uh, HMAC, I can just replace it with the SHA-256 algorithm. And this is the SHA-256 HMAC of earth.txt.
and now I will show you how to use CMAC using OpenSSL. So the command is going to be OpenSSL DGST Mac. And this time I will be using CMAC using Shavan algorithm. And the Mac option, the first thing I need is the cipher. So uh, hold on, let me just type it first. I find it hard to talk and type at the same time. All right, so I was I was going to say that CMAC is a cipher-based algorithm, so it needs a cipher algorithm. Mostly, it's a block uh, algorithm, so I am using AS128 CBC. There are three different sizes of AS key. There's AS128, AS192, and AS256. And the other algorithm that I can use is uh, triple DES, so DES EDE3 dash CBC. All right, I'm going to start typing now. The next Mac option is hex key. And uh, I will use the xtd command dash p key earth.txt. And this is the cmac shavan of earth.txt. Similarly, if I need sha256 cmac, I can replace this hashing algorithm to sha256. And this is cmac sha256 of earth.txt. That's all I have for you in this video. It was a short video. I taught you how to use HMAC and CMAC using OpenSSL. Uh, link to my GitHub is in the description. I'll upload my notes over there. And um, please leave a like if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. See ya.